In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add a gradient overlay to your image in CSS. All right, so I'm gonna show you a simple example here. I just have an empty HTML file here, and this is what it looks like right now. I've opened this up at live server, right? There's an official Studio Code extension, so I don't have to keep refreshing manually. So I'm gonna create a container here, just some element that can hold everything, and then I'm gonna add the image. So I found an image on unsplash.com. So if you haven't found an image yet, you can go here and find one. They have lots of beautiful images for free. And I'm just gonna copy the one that I found here. All right, so this is the image. If I save here, you're gonna see it's way too big. We'll solve that in a second. So we're gonna add a gradient on top of the image. So I'm gonna create an empty div. That's gonna be the easiest way to do that. So I'm just gonna create a div for the class of gradient. All right, that's what we have so far. And then let's go to our CSS. So what we're gonna do is that container that the image and the, the gradient div are sitting in, we're gonna, we're gonna give that the height and width that they need. So it's gonna be a width of 500 pixels, let's say, and a height of 700 pixels. And then we're gonna make the image and the gradient 100% of that height and width, right? So I can just select by tag and I can just say height should be 100%. 100% of what? Well, in CSS, 100% means of the parent element, which is the container. Right? So it's gonna get 700 pixels height and width. Okay, so when you do that, this is what we have right now. Now, when you start playing with the height and width of images, usually, it's a good idea to also use object fit cover because um, the image has a certain aspect ratio. And once you start playing with the height and width, you may actually change it, which can give it a bit of a distorted look. Also images, because they're inline level elements, they're gonna have some, you know, a little bit of space below them. Um, so in this case, I'm also gonna make it a block level element. Depends a little bit on how your, you know, your your setup, of your, how, how your HTML is structured. Maybe you wanna have inline block, because maybe it should be in line with some other content. I'll just make it block. As long as it's not display inline, it should work because display inline will give that weird white space underneath. Okay, so this is the image. So now we have the gradient div. So what we're gonna do is just an element so I can select it and I'm, I can give it the same size, right? So I can say 100% of the height and width and we're gonna we're gonna give it a background color. Let's try black first. See what we get. So then when I do that, we see this black, uh, well, rectangular shape, but it's actually pushing the image down, right? Because this gradient, well, it's just an element, so it's gonna push the image down. So we don't want it to take up any space. It should sit on top. Right? It shouldn't push anything away. So we can do that with position absolute. It's gonna take it out of the normal flow, as it's called. It's pretty difficult to understand actually. Um, but when you do that, usually. It, um, it's a good idea to to specify what the what the uh, relative element should be, because with position absolute you can say, for example, it should sit zero pixels from the top, and zero pixels from the left. But zero pixels from the top of what exactly? Well, we want that to be the container. So we want the container to be the reference point. So I'm going to say position relative on the container. So now we have this gradient sitting perfectly on top of the image, and I can prove that to you if I just reduce the opacity a little bit to 0.2 or 0.5. Right, point five, you can see that we now have this uh, black overlay, but we want a um, gradient overlay. So a gradient in uh, CSS is treated as a background image. So I can say background image and then linear gradient, and then I can pick the direction. And actually, let's try putting this on a different line. So I can say to top, let's say, and maybe it should start at the, it should start with black. And towards the top, um, it should go to transparent. And actually let me format this a little bit different, right? So I have removed the opacity as well, right? So I've initially I had opacity 0 0.5. I've removed that now. So now I'm going to refresh and this is what I have right now, right? So it's a gradient that, go, that starts from the, from the bottom. It starts with black and goes to the top where eventually it should be transparent, right? So this is a gradient, you know, it could be any color that you want, any direction. So to top could also be to right. Right, if you do this, you're gonna get this. Now you do need to make sure you're, you're gonna have a slightly lower opacity, right? So you could simply use opacity, or you can give these colors a different um, opacity themselves, right? So you can reduce the opacity like this if you if you go into the the color settings, right? And black, I can I can just reduce that like this as well, so that you can still see the image underneath, right? So that's how you can add a gradient overlay to an image with CSS. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch, so you can 
could see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.